this is NJ, your host on this channel. In this video, we will have our discussion on the concept of Kendrum Yoga. So friends, ever since I uploaded this video on the Paap Katri and the Shubh Katri Yoga, a lot of you have been asking me about an individual and exclusive video on this concept as well. Because friends, if you have this yoga in your chart, and if you have access to the classical, astrological, Vedic text like uh, Brathura Shastra and all these, you know, revered astrological books. So trust me, friends, the language which is written over there specifically pertaining to these yogas is very harsh, which needs to be decoded and translated with the modern times, with the culture, with the era. So that is something which we will try to understand and decode in this video. So friends, before we will start our discussion, the first thing is that like the way we have the protagonist or the lead actor in every film. So same way, let's first try to understand the nature of the protagonist uh, lead or character of this yoga, the participating yoga, which is the planet moon. So now friends, uh, moon, which is definitely the significator of your emotions, of your feelings, the way you perceive the world, the way you process your emotions, your feelings, all of that we get to know from the condition and dignity of moon in your chart. So moon just tells about the kind of nourishment which you will receive in this lifetime. Whether it's about your relationship with your mother, the kind of nourishment or the parenting or the early childhood experiences you have, all of those information get decoded from the moon's dignity in the chart. Also friends, in the older times, trust me, all the astrologers used to give emphasize and they used to give predictions only by looking at your moon sign only by making your moon chart and which is very true up to an extent because specifically this is the same pattern and style which i also follow specifically when it comes down to the karmic planets like destiny carved in your chart or in your palm lines so specifically when we talk about rahu Ketu and Saturn. So whether it's about you have to understand their results if they are changing signs in the transit or whether it's about you are about to start Rahu Dasha or Ketu Antar Dasha or Saturn Mahadasha. So trust me, studying it from your moon sign, from your moon chart can give you more detailed idea. Now friends, when we talk about the importance or the alignment of this yoga, Kemdrum Yoga, so that's very simple. The eligibility is that if you will find that your moon is isolated in the chart. So wheresoever a moon is placed in your chart, a house before and a house after, there is no planet placed over there. Now in this alignment, Sun, Rahu, Ketu are not included. So even if you have moon to be placed in your fifth house, there is no planet placed in the fourth house, a house before, and there is no planet placed a house ahead, which is the sixth house. But for example, either Rahu is uh, sitting with your moon or Rahu is placed a house uh, next to your moon or it's Ketu or it's Sun. So it will still be called as the Kemdrum Yoga. The only exception to that is if you will find Jupiter's placement Kendra Bhav from your moon's placement in the chart. So wheresoever your moon is placed, if there is no planet, a house before or a house after. But Jupiter is placed four places ahead of it, seven places ahead of it or tenth place ahead of it, then this can be called as that the Kemdrum Yoga or the intensity of the Kemdrum Yoga is going to get reduced or diminished. Now we will come to the next section about the results. So now friends, there are two ways of understanding it. Let's first pick up the language of the classical text. So friends, in the classical text, it has been explained or decoded in a way that the native who is going to have Kemdrum Yoga in his chart he is going to be deprived of all the wealth. Or even if you are born in a rich family or a wealthy family, you will lose out or you will become responsible for losing out all the wealth. So that is how this yoga has been explained in the classical text. Like our older uh, Indian society, which was very much dominated by the caste system. So like the way it has been the practice which was followed at that time that if someone is going to do something bad or unethical in the society, in the community. So everyone in the village or in the town or in the community is going to completely isolate or outcast that person. So he is going to be forced to live outside the community, outside the village where no one will ask for this family's well-being. No one will share anything with them 
or no one will participate in their good or in their bad times so that is how you are going to get isolated or you know outcasted from your community so this is the kind of language or this is how this yoga has been explained in the classical text now friends if you want to understand it in the modern times and the era so definitely moon which is the significator of our emotions and of our feelings like the way i always say this thing wheresoever moon is placed in your chart whichever house your emotions your feelings are somehow attached regarding and pertaining to the matters of that house and definitely if your moon is going to be crowded by the uh, presence of the benefic planets so definitely all the benefic energy of other planets will also act as a supporting pillar to your moon so that is how the energies of moon function or work it's not only the mercury which is the most impressionable same is the qualities which moon also manifest so now friends when we talk about in the modern era so definitely if you are going to have the kemdrum yoga so it can make your emotions your mental state or your mind to be deprived of all the support of the emotions or of the feelings and definitely because moon is the significator of the childhood so the intensity or the energy of this yoga forms and manifest its results intensely when someone is of of a teenage or adolescent age so i would say that up till the age of 18 the intensity of this yoga tend to remain very strong so that is how friends you can understand the results or the energies of this kemdrum yoga if you will find in someone's chart also friends it's not only that just because your mind is going to be deprived of all the emotional support that's one way of looking at it and just because if you will find rahu to, to be conjunct with your moon or like for example rahu to be uh, placed a house before where your natal isolated moon is placed in the chart and over and above that friends like because definitely if moon is placed in one house in your chart and if moon is not placed in its own sign of cancer so definitely moon is going to be ruling a specific house in your chart as well so now what is going to happen is that which is something which i have seen in lot many charts like the idol yoga is that for example if you are a gemini ascendant person so if in your chart you being a gemini ascendant a uh, moon has got the rulership of the second house which is the house of your uh, wealth now imagine if in this alignment your moon is forming a kemdrum yoga all the eligibilities of the kemdrum yoga is getting fulfilled and for this gemini ascendant person your moon is placed in the fifth house so then this can contribute to this thing that because of the emotional and mental isolation native might end up and other yogas are also contributing and dashas are also contributing in this direction so this yoga as per the classical text and the languages can instigate someone to losing out all of his family wealth which comes from the second house where moon's own sign is being placed over there and they will lose it in the gambling in the speculation in all sort of indulgences in the life or for example for this same example of a gemini ascendant moon has got the rulership of your second house and if your moon is forming a kemdrum yoga in this alignment in your sixth house so now often see your moon is debilitated it's in a difficult house it's in a kemdrum yoga as well so these are certain alignments where no matter whether you are born in a rich family or whether you are born in a poor family your wealth will go away from you this could be because of paying to the lawyers because of fighting all the court cases litigations or whether for paying to all the hospitals or doctors just fighting all the illnesses so this is something friends which this kemdrum yoga contributes to so again friends the good or the bad the best or the ugly results only manifest if there are other layers which are adding to that as well so for example uh, if you will find moon to be placed in a earth sign so if your moon is in taurus it is uh, exalted if your moon is in the virgo if your moon is in the um, uh, capricorn and it is getting the aspect of the planet jupiter then definitely we can say that the vulnerable side of this kemdrum yoga is going to get diminished to a greater extent rather native can be self reliant native will learn how to become independent so that is a very severe side of this kemdrum yoga but if you will find this yoga to be taking place in that alignment that your moon is uh, like kind of 
uh, waning at the time when you were born your moon is also uh, in the scorpio sign your moon is also placed in the uh, dushtana bhava and you were born at the time of the night when moon is also the energies of the moon is also very strong then this will definitely add one layer over another layer and this can make your emotions your feelings vulnerable so friends it's just like that we are living in such a high stress high pressured uh, time and era where all of us are vulnerable to emotional sensitivity like even in my own chart like my moon is surrounded by all the positive benefic influence support element in the form of family friends neighbor colleagues they always remain very much helpful and kind towards me but even after having everything you know happy and dandy in my chart even sometimes even i feel myself emotionally sensitive vulnerable bit moody so but just because i do not have that permanent yoga in my chart so i might have those you know uh, kind of a uh, periods of emotional highs and lows but just because i do not have that yoga in my chart i know how to come out of that but in those circumstances or cases where someone who has got this kemdrum yoga in his chart and along with that adding to that if native is not going to find that supporting uh, encouraging positive influence or environment around him then the possibility of feeling emotionally vulnerable emotional uh, highs and lows tend to remain a part of native's personality because friends when we talk about personality understand this thing ascendant definitely tells about your physical well being your physical characteristics and traits but when we talk about your true personality the way you uh, think the way you perceive the way you behave a lot of that has to do with our moon as well so this emotional vulnerability can shape up or define your personality as well so that is the only reason friends this kemdrum yoga has been written in such a intense light in our classical text so now friends i explain some pros and cons surrounding this kemdrum yoga i explained it to you that it hits you hard on your emotional plane rather than making you deprived of a uh, wealth or making you poor so that is one way of understanding it the second thing is that friends now we will also try to understand that if you will find this kemdrum yoga alignment in different houses of your chart then in which way the energy of this yoga can manifest its vulnerable results so friends to begin with let's say for example your moon is placed right over there in your first house without any saving grace or without any cancellation of this kemdrum yoga so definitely friends the moon's uh, like placement in the first house is definitely going to make your personality very emotional you are a kind of person who is defined by your nurturing emotions and over uh, pouring emotions but the concern over here is that you might find yourself isolated and not being supported at the right times with the people around you so because of which you are you know your emotions are pouring all over you because your moon is not placed in any specific house it is present right over there in your first house which defines your complete overall well-being complete life your complete personality so because of it falling in the kemdrum yoga alignment it can gives emotional vulnerable uh, you know uh, mood swings and highs and lows of your emotions and along with that friends with this kind of alignment it becomes more sensitive because person kind of you know uh, project himself and pose himself as very emotionally demanding in the society and friends with this kind of placement if you will find other adversary contributing factors as well that you know uh, rahu is conjunct with moon rahu is placed in the second house rahu is placed in the 12th house and you get into the dasha of either moon or rahu so the native has to remain very cautious very careful because uh, driven by his emotional vulnerability he might end up taking those decision which might have a impact or influence in his overall life moving at friends now if you will find this kemdrum yoga to be taking place in your second house so definitely friends second house placement of moon in itself tells about that your financial matters could remain volatile and with this placement it becomes very very important that the way you manage your finances because if you are a gemini ascendant person your moon is placed in its own sign in the second house then this could be seen as a saving grace or for example you are a uh, aries ascendant and your moon is in the kemdrum yoga but it is exalted in the second house then it's fine otherwise whatsoever vulnerability native might be feeling in 
because moon might have a rulership in your case of the 11th house you being a um, like a virgo ascendant native then in those kind of circumstances all the you know uh, you know feeling uh, vulnerable and low on the matters of the that your life is not progressing friends are not very much reciprocating to you the way the kind of treatment you deserve or if you will find any impediment in your growth in your progress in the life so the hit of that might take place in your financial dealings like all those people who suddenly get into this mode of you know spending too much just to feel that emotional replenishment or you know indulging into all the extravagance so this can contribute to that as well so a uh, kemdrum yoga with moon being in the second house can actually put a hole or burn a hole in the matters of your finances you have to remain a bit cautious also friends just because moon in itself is the significator of your childhood and moon being forming a kemdrum yoga in the second house is also a significator of childhood depravity of the nourishment moving ahead friends now if you will find this kendram yoga to be taking place in your third house now friends it's a very sensitive alignment because like the way you know this thing that third house plays a very important role in our support group like the friends you hang out with your neighbors even when you go to work the way you get along or relate with people at your workplace like trust me with this kind of alignment you might get to know about a person who like spent almost his complete life at a specific organization and just the next department branch or the people in the next building or in the same floor might not be knowing his name so this kind of alignment in the third house can give kind of you know vulnerability on the account of the way you deal or bond with people or let's say for example if you will find moon to be very agitated or in a very desperate state like your you are a virgo ascendant person your moon is uh, debilitated in the third house and there is an influence of rahu or ketu over there as well so then it is actually going to add to all the misery so it is definitely going to make the native more desperate for the you know the society's uh, approval acknowledgement or trying hard or pushing hard to blend in so this combination taking place in the third house can give those kind of difficulties with either with your siblings either with your community within the community so you have to do certain remedial measures in order to you know uh, compensate this kemdrum yoga taking place in your third house moving ahead friends now if you will find this kemdrum yoga to be taking place in your fourth house which can be seen as a little bit sensitive alignment because friends fourth house tells about the nourishment which we will receive from our mother so the good part over here is that your moon being placed over here here i am not even taking into consideration your zodiac sign placement moon's placement in the fourth house somehow makes you emotionally very demanding and if your moon is isolated in the fourth house then these tend to remain those people who are very much restricted in their own world in their own imaginations so it becomes very important for you that whatsoever your surrounding influence or the aura with which you have restricted yourself you need to validate it with other people you might be living with a lie you might be living with uh, in some sort of illusion in some sort of you know rejection some sort of regret some sort of uh, you know past trauma so it becomes very important that if you have kemdrum yoga to be taking place in the fourth house you need proper counseling proper external aid and you need to let other people come into and you have to them access to your to your emotional world the world or the world which you have created around you and also friends when we talk about in the domestic matters so many times what happen is that native has this mindset no one understand me uh, you know no one can be trusted so it all comes down to the kind of nourishment and the kind of early childhood experiences native have received with this yoga taking place in his fourth house moving ahead friends now if you are going to find this kemdrum yoga to be taking place in the fifth house so again friends the living signification of the fifth house could be seen as the children so you know that kind of feeling of lack whether you have children or not even if you have children and in your middle age in your old age you kind of feel that okay the kind of nourishment or treatment or the respect or the time i deserve from my children i'm not able to get that and many times what happen is that friends because with this kind of alignment the irony of this alignment is that you being your moon placed in the fifth house your emotions are attached to the matters of your children but you are not receiving that 
attention or treatment or respect in return so that kind of you know turmoil gets created if you will find kemdrum yoga to be taking place in the fifth house but friends the beauty of this kemdrum yoga in the fifth house is that a lot many genius artist has been seen with this alignment who actually transfer the direction of their emotions of their feelings and contribute it and give it a direction of art and creativity but again friends if you will find that with this kind of alignment there were certain alignments which i mentioned that if your moon is conjunct with rahu as well and moon has got the rulership of the house of finances or house of opportunity and native has got speculative nature so native might end up losing everything on lottery on speculation as well so you have to take into consideration everything moving right friends now if you will find this kemdrum yoga to be taking place in someone's sixth house so friends it is a very vulnerable placement so if all the eligibilities of the kemdrum yoga is getting fulfilled and your moon is being in the sixth house so native has to remain very very uh, watchful very cautious very careful so friends it's not only about that you might have actual problem it's just like that you might have created the problem in within your own mind and all around you So it becomes very important to protect your emotional health well-being here i'm not talking about that you are bound to be sick or you're bound to have court cases but with this alignment if other factors in your chart like if your uh, ascendant lord is weak so it means you have health related concern if your 10th house lord is heavily afflicted so it means your actions your deeds in the society are questionable and over and above that if your moon is in a kemdrum yoga in the sixth house then definitely it is going to add to all the problems whether in real or whether in your mind and also friends when we talk about the living signification so this could be your uh, colleagues this could be your relationship with your maternal uncles and all of that so there might be difficulty in all those relationship as well moving right friends now if you are going to find this kemdrum yoga to be taking place in your seventh house so definitely friends the irony of this alignment again is that your emotions your feelings is attached to your partner but just because your moon is isolated over there so you are not able to receive the same kind of nourishment or treatment or love which you deserve from the opposite sex or from the partner basis your sexual orientation that's what i meant so yes friends with your moon's placement in the 7th house when we talk about you know kind of being in the crowd being in the world but socially isolated because many times what happen is that when we look at all those celebrities or all the kind of fake world which we are living in people try to smile when they pose and they post anything on the social media but if you dig deep into their personal life you'll get to know how lonely they were actually even amidst all that crowd and the success so this can also give rise to all of that as well so it all comes down to the supporting factors which are a uh, kind of you know diminishing the affliction of this kemdrum yoga taking place in your 7th house and specifically in the matters of the relationship native has to take very consciously aware choice and the same things apply in any sort of business partnership as well native might also remain if you will find the influence of rahu over here as well native might also remain very cautious very sensitive regarding his public image as well moving right friends now let's say for example if you are going to find this kemdrum yoga to be taking place in the 8th house so again friends now see this is how things lined up so for example if you have your moon uh, forming a kemdrum yoga in the 8th house along with that there is an influence of rahu or ketu or sun over here as well over and above that if your zodiac sign placement of moon over here is also a bit sensitive it's of a water sign then we can say that yes the emotions and feelings are intense and native is not able to find out a release a vent for the release of these energies so it becomes very important with this kind of alignment kemdrum yoga to be taking place in your 8th house that native should take interest in spirituality any form of art any form of creativity devotion tend to become very important otherwise you know battling with psychological crises inner turmoils and the problem is that friends again we all have 
on a lower intensity or a higher intensity basis our personality basis our dna basis our lifestyle choices we all have stress and some sort of psychological emotional vulnerability if you're going to find that in the eighth house and moon being isolated you do not have any aid you do not have any help sometimes what happens is that you might have a emotional like you have bipolar disorder you have any sort of you know uh, emotional or mental problem but you have a caring life partner you have a caring family you have caring friends you have a very relaxing career so you have a release or you have a help or aid to deal with the challenge which you are dealing with but if you have a kendram yoga in the eighth house so native might have a problem and he might not be able to uh, find a solution or resolve for that as well so that is the reason becomes vulnerable so the path of devotion the path of research path of spirituality can be seen as a right way of dealing with the challenges of this yoga taking place in your eighth house moving ahead friends now if you will find the placement of moon in your ninth house and kemdrum yoga getting formed so friends definitely the placement of ninth house kemdrum yoga can still be seen as not as vulnerable because you have to understand this thing that the energy of the ninth house in itself is so divine protected is actually you know so progressive so optimistic there is so much sort of hopefulness which is over here in the ninth house kemdrum yoga in itself means that you are going deep within your emotional vulnerability and you are isolated as well but your moon forming came through yoga but in the ninth house still provides a hope a push to come out of it and trust me with this kind of alignment if you are going to seek refuge only in the devotion or in the worship so trust me you can actually succeed in the life on so many planes not only on the material plane but on the spiritual plane as well but friends again it all comes down to the other contributing factors to this kemdrum yoga if you're going to have rahu to be conjunct in the ninth house so now the problem is that not only you're emotionally vulnerable you're isolated but also you question and you mock all sort of religious you know uh, people religious teaching and all those good wise advice and mentorship which can come and which can help you or guide you so yes friends the kendram yoga uh, taking place in the uh, ninth house can be seen as a very double edged sword it all comes down to that in this kendram yoga alignment rahu specifically should not be contributing to it but trust me if in this alignment your moon is going to be conjunct with ketu and being placed in the ninth house can give you very penetrating insight deeper insight it might isolate you from the society but is going to put you on the right path of your soul spiritual elevation moving ahead friends and uh, one thing friends with this kind of alignment it might give a kind of a difficult relationship with the father so friends moving ahead now let's say for example if you are going to find this kemdrum yoga alignment taking place in your 10th house so friends this in itself tells about that native is going to have lot of responsibilities on his shoulder because moon being placed in the 10th house in itself tell about that yes you are a person whose mind whose emotions whose emotions are completely attached to fulfilling your duties and responsibilities but if you're chart in your chart other factors are not contributing in the similar direction so your 10th house lord is not that strengthened or there is influence of rahu over here there is uh, influence of you know like sun is being placed that too in the 10th house creating a new moon alignment in your 10th house so then in those kind of alignments native might lack the support which he needs like we all have seen all those people like where there is a big family and the sole bread earner of that family is only one person and the whole pressure responsibilities are always riding on the shoulder of this one person only so it can give rise to so many ways because friends when we talk about our actions our responsibilities primarily that's the 10th house only which tells about that definitely if you're going to have other supporting factors surrounding the moon so whatsoever you have to do or the responsibilities or duties you have to perform there are other supporting factors to you but if your moon is isolated in the 10th house it can burn you out while fulfilling your professional goals your endeavors or your responsibilities and when we talk about your relationship with the bosses i would say that native might expect a lot from the authority figures rather than actually putting in due efforts moving ahead friends 
Now let's say for example, if you are going to find this Kemdrum Yoga taking place in your 11th house. So now friends, uh, when we talk about the 11th house Kemdrum Yoga, the beauty of the 11th house is that no matter what is the nature of the planet, whether planet is benefic or malefic, all the planets hold this potential of manifesting good results in the 11th house. This is actually the house of success. This is actually the house of your wish fulfillment. So friends, moon being isolated over here forming a Kemdrum Yoga can be seen as this that other contributing factors that too little bit malefic in nature needs to be supporting to this alignment otherwise with this alignment native might be very daydreamer he just has you know dreams and he just have goals but there is no concrete plan in place for that native might also expect a lot like he will join any group he will join any organization or he might expect a lot from his uh, elder brothers like all those people who are always complaining and they feel that the world owes them something or people owes them something rather than putting in efforts and claiming them claiming the the results so that is the kind of mindset which this kemdrum yoga in the 11th house can create so other factors need to be supporting positively otherwise native might waste his prime time in the life just daydreaming and specifically when we talk about the dasha of the moon that might tend to remain very emotionally vulnerable or kind of giving burnout to the native where native is you know trying to aspire and achieve and accomplish everything without you know actually realistically putting in efforts or native might also have to face the burn that people or you know people in the community are not kind of playing that pivotal contributing or supporting role which they should otherwise be playing in a idealistic situation and last friends if you're going to find this kemdrum yoga to be taking place in the 12th house so friends there is a lot of connotation or interpretation of this alignment which can be decoded so just because you know this thing that 12th house represents like all sort of hidden enemies and threats on the account of you know people who are jealous of us envious of us conspiracy clandestine activities are all from the 12th house but friends the beauty of the 12th house is that 12th house is also the house of liberation of transcendental wisdom your intuition prophetic dreams so friends it all comes down to how other factors are contributing in this chart all factors in the chart what kind of life are they indicating because for example if with this kind of kemdrum yoga taking place in your 12th house if your life and other factors are contributing a life where you have to deal with all sort of enemies challenges concerns of health and all of that then you might find yourself completely isolated and alone to deal with all these challenges and also when we talk about from the spiritual progress perspective as well friends so trust me between us and the god is the guru who kind of accelerates our growth in that path so your moon being placed in the 12th house in itself makes your moon very intuitive and for example if with your moon being in the 12th house it's placed in the water sign as well so that means that the higher astral entities wants to communicate with you but if you are going to have kemdrum yoga to be taking place in your 12th house so you might not have the necessary assistance or guidance whether from the guru from the mentors which you need in order to establish that connection which can actually help or accelerate your spiritual progress and not only that friends because obviously uh, 12th house the benefic side of the 12th house is that it is the chief house of service i still remember friends i was watching this news and there was this panel of doctors like who are right now working at the war affected uh, you know places in ukraine and the poland and they were giving this interview at so much ease uh, we have always you know worked in all these uh, affected countries or affected places like not only that even if there is a part in the world which has experienced some sort of disaster like a volcanic eruption they go over there and they help people so without you know uh, looking at your safety and ease you have devoted yourself to such an extent for the well-being of the society or for the humanitarian causes so this isolated moon if other factors are also contributing can give you that sort of life as well the worst side of this uh, placement can only manifest if native is going to ease out or look for the easy route of escaping all the life's problems or dealing with his miseries or his inner demons in the form of taking refuge in alcohol drugs or any sort of indulgent lifestyle so friends at the end if i were to share the 
esoteric side of this yoga because in our classical text there has lot been mentioned over there so it has been mentioned over there that kemdrum yoga in this lifetime in your chart means that in the past lifetime you might not have you know uh, remain respectful towards your mother so that is the only reason you have been bereft of all the nourishment whether from the mother relationship with the mother or in general overall your mental health well being so the remedial aspect for this kind of yoga is first of all you have to remain very much dutiful service full towards your mother it's not only the mother even all those uh, women who are of your mother's age you have to remain very much devoted serviceful respectful towards them and the second thing is that friends definitely when we talk about the worship specifically from our indian pantheon so it's the worship of lord shiva so uh, lord shiva who carries the uh, crescent moon on his forehead so whether it's about you know visiting a uh, lord shiva's temple either on mondays or at the time of the full moon and you know uh, offering uh, milk on the shiv linga or the worship of shiv linga or reciting the stutis of the lord shiva can be seen as one of the best remedy of dealing with the uh, vulnerability or the adverse effect or side of this kemdrum yoga in your chart so that is something friends which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs on this concept of kemdrum yoga for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my video